Hey guys, Paul here, PNUK Training. I want to give you a, a full solution to forwarding your old domain names to your new website. I've done this many times as someone who's created new websites, moved websites, changed domain names. GoDaddy specific this, it's always a pain trying to forward a GoDaddy domain. So what I'm going to do an example is, is this is how's happening and this is what you should use. So what you do, you, you finish with a website. I'm going to use the pnuk.com and I've tried to forward it to um, pnuk.com. Actually, I've, I've uh, in a test here, I've got it wrong. So I want it to go pnuk and I want the forum to go there as well. Now, the issue you always have, so I want the forum to go to forum.pnuk, not, not to uh, the old domain, right? So when you come to your browser, and you might not just be able to see this, if I come down here and go, if I go now, thepnuk.com, the forward, the forward just hangs. Let me turn that up. Sorry if you think you've got a WhatsApp. It just hangs. It doesn't work, right? So what happens on the um, the uh, forward is the HTTP at the top there, you have to take away the S. And then, so it works. GoDaddy works, but it doesn't forward the HTTPS. Now, that's a huge problem if your old domain is linked everywhere on the internet. If you've sent emails to people and you've... Um, you've you know obviously obviously there's old linkages to that domain so the beauty of a platform that works redirect pizza if you come to pnuk.co forward slash redirect pizza i'll have left a link at the bottom hit this it's going to be free to use up to five sources so uh, the pnuk.com is one source forum dot uh, PN, the pnuk.com is the second source we're going to dive in and sign up and forward those properly and easily so all you got to do to sign up is hit get started if you want to jump through the pricing this we're, we're only talking about this free version today obviously the more and more sources the more things you want to do it does get a little bit more expensive and uh, probably the biggest factor for the pro version is being able to do wildcard domains so if you've got a lot of subdomains and you want to tie them all together that's going to be the pro i'm going to cover that in other videos we are just doing the free version so we hit get started i'm going to put in uh obviously you can sign up with google or anything like that this is just a test account so uh, i'm going to move this forward onto my main account after i've done this video so it sent me an email i'm just going to pause you while i click on my email and click the verify email button so all it did was send me an email and i clicked verify email in fact i can show you no, I can't. i'm not going to because i'm not sure what of my emails are in there right so here create your first redirect so we, what we want to do is we want to forward um, thepnuk.com. I was just thinking there because in my case, I'm going to forward forum thepnuk.com as well, but I will keep it separate for this. So what's beauty about it, beautiful about it is thepnuk.com. That's all we're going to put, and we're going to type in HTTPS pnuk.com. That's where I want it to forward to permanent or temporary it's up to you if you want to do this most people are saying use permanent uh, especially if it's going to be permanent it's better for search apparently i might not be a hundred percent on that now what i like about this is should the path example forward slash contact be kept while redirect, redirect, redirecting to destination only applies to sources with a path defined so if you're going to forward the punk dot contact you want it to go to punk dot uh, you want to go you want it to go to punk.com contact same as this should query example um if somebody's uh, searching your site or something question mark foo equals bar uh, be kept in the url so if you want to keep the format so if everything's the same on the new website or you're just forward forwarding everything to one page so if you want everything to everything to go to pnuk.com turn them off but if you want 
thepunk.com forward slash contact to go to uh, pnuk.com forward slash contact. Leave these on. Add a tag if you want and create the redirect. So now it's going to go off and check the C name. Now we know it's not going to work and we need to copy this uh, you, um, IP address, right? So if we go back now to my uh, GoDaddy, I can delete these forwards because you have to delete them because what will happen is it won't let you edit the record if you don't. If you go here, look, see, if I go to DNS, if I say forum, it won't let me edit the forum because the forwarding is already happening. So delete the forwards. We're going to change that forum one next as well. And in the parked one, edit. So this uh, redirect, where are we? Oh, I've got a lot of tabs open now. So we want to put this as a scene, uh, as an A record. Especially in, in GoDaddy, it has to be an A record. We're going to paste in that and save it. Now, 600 seconds is the minimum the, the uh, check can be. So that's going to be 10 minutes. It may happen faster. What are we now? It's 12.22. I will pause you and tell you when it verifies. In fact, while it's verifying, let's go ahead and do another one. Go back to redirects here and click create redirect. This time we're going to do the forum. So forum dot thepnuk.com now this may be going to forum.pnuk.com but it is actually going to go to uh, thepnuk.com as well so i could have done it on the other on the other redirect i could just simply have done edit uh, redirects edit redirect i could have just put it here forum dot um, thepnuk Dot com and, and added it there. But just to show you, you could do another four websites if you wanted to. Let's go forum.pnuk.com and it's going to go to pnuk.com. Oh, it might not let me because it's already there, right? It's already not yet. I think you get the point that you could have you could have set up another domain name. I haven't got another spare to test on, so I'm going to put it in here forum.thepnuk.com save that and now that will go and check to see uh, if the c names change now in this case the c name has to be uh, edge redirect now i think because i had it played before i've already done it yeah so when i unparked it it did it so let's just delete let's delete um the wildcard for now that's that's on my main account so it did remember. So what you need to do for a C name. So if you're, you see how this one's an A record, it's an IP address. This one, because it's a subdomain, needs to be a C name. And it's going to, we need to put in, copy it, edge.redirect.pizza. So if I go back to the DNS setting, add or edit the one you've got. So if you've already got forum, you can. C name, subdomain is forum. The value is edge redirect pizza. Put that to 600. Add a record. And now forum and uh, forum and thepunk.com the punk are being forwarded. That might actually take a while because I've just changed it again, haven't it? So if you go back to where we were before, so if I bring this down again, so before, when we did HTTPS, thepnuk.com, the forward didn't work. Now, the right, let me go to a different browser because I need to clear my cache. Um, oh, all right. So the, uh, the punk took a little bit of uh, time to get unstuck. But you'll see now if I type in HTTPS, thepnuk.com. It forwards straight away, and it's fast as well. HTTPS forum dot thepnuk.com. Oh, what did I do there? <laughs> HT, what are you doing, computer, to me? HTTPS forum 
dot the pnuk dot com forwards no problem same as my training used to be paul nicholson dot com now other features on the the higher up plans is the wild card like i said so anything dot uh, paul nicholson because i can't remember all the subdomains i've used in the past will forward onto that now so you know i've had many different um training platforms and things like this so if you spell something wrong so maybe someone goes training uh, and spells it with an s like i don't know why i would but i probably would trainings comes to that forward so that's a wild card that is on the um the the professional feature so hopefully that helps and makes sense there's definitely lots it can do there's obviously paid versions which i will cover in future videos don't think like i did that you can create five redirects then create another account and do another five you will be flagged and your second account will be deleted so you will have to upgrade uh, if you're going any higher than five urls lots to can do and just it's just glad that it works isn't it that you can just type it in knowing that wherever the links are on the website whether you've sent emails out in the past whether people have shared things via whatsapp the HTTPS of the old chat of the old site now still works. So if you need more, come to pnuk.co forward slash redirect um, redirect pizza. That is where the training will live. This video is about to go under there. If you've got any other questions, I jumped on support with Michael. Uh, he was great, and uh, there's lots more it can do. But for the basic redirects, which is an absolute pain in the bottom, whether it's GoDaddy, Cloudflare, whatever it might be, you don't, you, you don't, you want to. I wanted to make sure that I caught all the old URLs and made sure that uh, anybody typing something in wrong, spelling contacts wrong, or doing something wrong would land on your page and then through your analytics on your website tracker, you can see, oh, somebody's going to. Uh, the wrong page to a 404 page and you can edit stuff like that in the future so i hope that was a, a decent enough introduction i really do like it when platform tools work and they save a lot of pain so as i said pnuk.co forward slash redirect pizza come in and sign up it is free and it is simple to use they don't ask you for any other information than an email and a password which is obviously what you need to remember to log in but they don't ask you for any more information uh, the pricing, as again, as you go further up, it's that wild card that I wanted. Uh, and there's some analytics on the paid version to see how many people are clicking and things like that. Um, automatic DNS is a nice feature. So it automatically connects to GoDaddy or Cloudflare. So if you do change some settings in your redirect pizza account, it automatically edits your GoDaddy for you. That's a real cool feature that I will be covering future plans thanks for watching uh, pnuk.com all free training come and join us give it a subscribe if this um, if this has helped and i'll see you again soon paul pnuk punk out